Hey guys, CP Motor here and today I'm coming at you with a massive external drive. To be more specific, this is the 5TB external desktop hard drive. At the time of recording, this is one of the largest external single drives you can buy on the market today. Though Seagate has just released their new 10TB lineups, they're not coming to the external world anytime soon. So a few months back, I went ahead and checked out this smaller brother being the 4TB expansion drive. Both of these two units feature not only the same box design but also to all the same accessories and packaging so if you want to check out what this guy comes with go ahead and check that video out linked down below or linked in the card on the screen right now but the difference between the two is definitely in the storage department and this guy takes it all to the next level kicking things off with design we find that it's just about the same as every other version of this drive with a triangle dimple design and flat edges it is quite an understated design Design. It also too features an LED status light and some rubber feet for standing this guy up. I personally would have liked to have seen those rubber feet be able to be moved so you could lie it down without the vibrations transferring to your table or bench that you are storing it on. Jumping inside this guy we find ourselves a 5TB Barracuda drive that would be found in just about any other 3.5 inch device. So if you can get this guy on a sale you can even tear it apart and just stick it into your desktop tower without needing to get any adapters. Unfortunately, being a unit that does not necessarily belong to me, I was unable to completely pull it apart which means I can't necessarily see all the controllers and everything else running it. However, from seeing around on the internet, it does look like Seagate has done a lot of proprietary work with this particular drive. Whilst you can still plug it into your desktop tower, the actual USB interface is a custom option found only on this particular device. Now taking a look at performance, as if it doesn't really perform that well, what's the point of even owning it? And when we go ahead and take a look at Seagate's notes, we find really not that much there to be actually honest. The actual sheet doesn't really say much more other than super speed USB 3 connection and that's really it when it mentions anything to do with speed. Though one thing that I did find interesting on the spec sheet that the warranty actually is quite varied. For example the hard drive itself has a one year warranty, the USB cable has a two year warranty and the power adapter has a three year warranty which was a little bit odd in my personal opinion but back to performance for now. So seeing that we've got no official numbers from Seagate, let's just jump into our own testing. Starting things off with synthetic tests, I went ahead and ran Crystal Disk Mark. I was able to achieve 136.5 megabytes per second on the reads and 122.1 megabytes per second on the writes for the sequential tests. One odd thing to note that this thing actually showed up as a 5 terabyte drive in Windows, but for some reason on Crystal Disk Mark it only showed up as a 3.7 terabyte drive. I'm not really sure why this happened and your mileage may vary. Moving on into some real world tests, I went ahead and grabbed a Samsung 850 Evo, loaded up with some files and copied it to and from this external drive. For these tests I also too plugged it into a USB 3 connection that was going straight to the CPU on an X99 motherboard. As for results, I was able to achieve 130 megabytes per second on the reads and 135 megabytes per second on the writes, which lines up pretty close to our synthetic tests. Now a lot of us out here are gamers and numbers are cool and all but how does it perform in gaming? Well, I tested that as well. I loaded up games including Payday 2, Sleeping Dogs and The Witcher 3 to compare load times and other performance numbers. Now compared to an exactly spec match hard drive inside the computer, I was able to see no lag, no perceivable extra load time and no stuttering with the frames. Everything was basically the same whether I was running an internal drive or this particular external drive. It appeared the USB 3.0 connection did not bottleneck us in any way compared to the SATA interface. Obviously if you are going to be doing more demanding file transfer, that's where a SATA interface face would definitely win. However, for these tests and in games, I found no perceivable difference whether it be an internal drive or an external one. For the content creators among us, I also too went ahead and tested Premiere Pro and After Effects, rendering clips and also to just general edits, and I found no real difference between the internal and the external drive. There was no real perceivable lag or load times required for using these projects. So comparing this to an internal drive is really going to be giving you not that much bad performance. One thing I do want to note is if you are going to be comparing this to an SSD, that is where you're going to be seeing your difference. 
And that's just about it, an external drive with a massive storage capacity, a minimalist design which I would have liked to have seen feet on at least one of the sides so I could lie it down, but with performance good enough to game, watch videos, edit files and copy files all day long. If you are looking to get one of these, there's not really too much of a downside as it is just a simple device. Out of the box, it's just plug and play and you are ready to go, whether it's Mac, PC or Linux, it works on on all of them. The design itself will complement just about any build or any sort of laptop setup and there is a range of sizes from the 5TB one that we checked out today, 4TB, 3TB, 2TB and even 1TB so there's really one version for everyone out there. Whether you're going to deploy multiple of them or just a single one you should have a decent experience nevertheless. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one.